thanks for joining me so today I am doing another experiment because I have watched several people who have talked about gold and how they really like the 24 karat gold by deco art and that it's the best paint that they've used and that it's the best color of gold that they have found and so I was trying to decide is it really the best gold there is or is it just the best one that they've had that they've used and so I was looking at all of my paints and I actually have 13 shades of gold now a couple of them are extreme glitter so I know that those are going to react differently than the metallics will but still they're a shade of gold and so I decided that I'm going to um, shoot a few videos where I'm doing some coasters and I'm going to use all of the same other colors except for the shade of gold that I use so that way we can tell if a certain gold does look better than other golds because if you use different golds but you use them with different colors they are going to react differently and some are going to look better with some colors than others will look and so I just wanted to use the same exact color so that we can see how each of them are going to look with these so instead of making one really long video where I do all of them I'm going to break it into three videos of me painting them and then I will um, have another one showing the dried results of them and I would really appreciate it if you would vote for the ones that you like the best so the colors that I'm going to be using are Master's Touch White for the base oh titanium white sorry and then festive green by Deco Art. This is an enamel. And then Extreme Glitter Purple by Folk Art. Then Irish Moss by Deco Art. Then Pearls Dioxazine Purple by Deco Art. And then the next will be my gold. And so I will have four different shades of gold. Um, all of these that I'm gonna do today are Rust-Oleum brand. So this one's metallic soft gold. And then I will have metallic rose gold. And then metallic champagne. And metallic gold mine then on top of that I will have lilac mist by apple barrel metallic green by deco art and then I'm going to finish up with transparent violet by artist loft I'm not sure how much this is going to show up I haven't used the transparent one and so I'm hoping that it will still look really pretty on top of it. But um, we're going to see about that one. Um, if you recall, I had a video where it was my very first painting in my new art studio. And these are almost exactly the colors that I used for that except for I had a different gold that I used and that painting turned out really pretty and so I know that the colors turn out well together and that's why I decided to go ahead and use the colors today that I'm using so I'm going to 
mark on the back of these really quick which kind of gold they are because I forgot to do that. This way it'll be easier to remember later on and I don't have to worry about keeping the bottle beside each of these. Those are all marked. Now I'm going to flood my cam or my tiles and I'll be right back. So I got the paint down, I torched the bubbles, and then I set my torch off to the side because since these are Rust-Oleum paints, I cannot torch them or they will get weird. So if they have any bubbles in them, I will need to take a toothpick and pop the bubbles. So let's get these colors put down. Bit of color outside of it, so I'll just dot it off, make it go away. Okay, so now I'm ready for the different shades of gold. This one is the rose gold. This one is the soft gold. This one is the champagne. And this one is the gold mine. So the rose gold really spread out a lot further than the rest of them did. The soft gold 
either I didn't get quite as much or it's a little thicker than the other ones and so it didn't spread out as much I'm not sure just put a little bit more on it to make sure now it looks a little more even with the rest so that's really interesting though with the rose gold I was thinking about kind of doing a squiggly with some of these, but then I decided that I wanted to make sure I was keeping all of them as similar as possible. And if I squiggly on these, then I might not remember how I did it for the next sets that I do. So I decided it would be better to just put them on here alike. And as I was pouring out the paints, I was counting, which is why I wasn't talking a whole lot. All right. So there are some bubbles in these. I'm going to try to pop at least some of the bigger ones. The little ones I'm not going to worry about too much. There was a pretty big one in this one before, but I'm not seeing it now, so it must have already popped on its own. Alright, well they all look pretty similar in size to the paint wise. Some of them are going that way just a little bit. Some are coming this way just a little bit. They're not totally level here probably, but they'll be level where I move them to. And so after I blow them out and show them to you, I will get them moved as quickly as possible. So then they won't be pulling the paints off. Okay. So since I have these all down, I'm going to move them over here. out of the way. Then I will be using the world's smallest leaf blower as you're probably really familiar with on my coasters by now because I really like using this. Um, I was also going to tell you I do have links in my description for a lot of the products that I use. Um, they are the majority of them affiliate links. So if you follow them and if you order something, I will get a small commission on qualified purchases. But all of the links that I have are products that I use and that I like. I will not give you any links to products that I've tried and just really don't care for. So let's get this blown out.
I'm not sure if I didn't have as much paint on this one as on the others or if it just didn't want to blow out as much or it looks like I've got a lot right here though but it just didn't really seem to want to move but it does look like there's a bunch right here <sighs> don't know how to get it over that way though. I don't think I could, but it's really thick right there. Huh? So there are some cells that are forming, not as many as I thought there might be, but more might form as it sits. It's usually what happens. So I'm going to um, touch up my edges and then I will bring you in for a close-up. So here they are. They are really pretty. I do like them. This one is the soft gold. You can see all of the sparkle and shimmer in it. I love that. And you can see also there's, like I said, there's a few cells, but not a whole lot. Okay, and then this one here is the champagne. I like those cells right there. Those are so pretty. This one is the gold mine. I think that gold really shines well. And then this one is the rose gold. They all shimmer and sparkle so much. I love how pretty these are. There's some beautiful cells right there. Especially that big green juicy one. Okay, I'm going to go shut the overheads off. And then we'll look at it with just the flash on. Okay, again, here they are. 
So this one is the soft gold. And it does definitely. I mean, there's some right there and there's some over here, but it really is just a soft accent. You can see it right there. And this is the one that looked like I didn't get as much. And so maybe I didn't, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I mean, you know, it still shows up in there. Still got some, some pretty gold shine to it. Okay. And then this one is the champagne. And that looks really nice through there too. I do like that transparent purple. I have a feeling as it dries, it's going to be even more transparent though. You can see it actually almost looks like it's under the green instead of over the green now in some of it so we'll see what it looks like when it's dry okay and this one's a gold mine some really pretty cells right there And then this one was the rose gold. I think the color of the rose goes really pretty with the light purple. It doesn't really stand out as a sharp gold, I guess the best way to say it but it's still definitely throughout there ah oh, these shine so much I love it so so pretty well let me know what you think about these which one is your favorite do you have a favorite If you liked this, I ask that you would click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to become one of my newest subscribers. And thank you to all of my current subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. Alright. I'll catch you later. Bye. God bless.